What's up guys? Welcome back to Fisher Hex. Appreciate you stopping in. Uh, today's video is going to be a, a lesson learned kind of video and also just a heads up for you guys to learn from my mistakes and hopefully uh, you won't have the issue that I just had. Uh, basically what I'm talking about is two days ago when I was feeding Reggie the snowflake eel, uh, this whole middle section of rock pretty much fell forward. Luckily I got it in time before it hit the glass or broke the tank or broke any of the coral. Uh, actually I will say that a couple pieces of the bird's nest broke off with my hand grabbing it, but uh, you know I'll take that over the whole tank cracking and losing everything. Now basically what happened guys, if you've seen any of my previous videos with me feeding Reggie the snowflake eel, uh, he's just under two feet long and he is aggressive. I'm telling you, he grabs his food no matter what it is and he slams his head against the rock forcing that food down his throat. Basically guys, I was feeding him and he just destroyed the whole bottom rock structure here. Now if you can see, hopefully, uh, the white, I will zoom in here and show you guys, but I actually had to epoxy all the rock again. When I first set up this tank, all that rock was epoxy together and I did notice over time that uh, the, the Gorgonian was tipping a little bit. Some of the rock was moving around because he's been slamming against that three or four times a week over the last year. And I uh, guess the epoxy just broke, couldn't take the stress anymore, and then made the whole rock structure unstable. Now, like I said, luckily I was able to stop it from falling over and cracking the whole tank. But what, did that snail just shit bubbles? What, did you guys see that? You had to have seen it. That is insane. Um, too bad I, I should go back and put that in slow-mo. That was, I've never seen that before. Anyways, I just lost track of what I was talking about. Okay, basically, <laughs> Jesus. Basically, the rock structure became unstable over the last year or so of him pounding, pounding his head against it, trying to force food down his throat, and consequently, I almost lost everything. So word of the wise, guys, when you build structures, uh, it doesn't hurt to check the stability. Go in there, put your hand on the rock, try to move it a little bit. I actually went over to the left section here and uh, moved it around a little bit to see how stable it was. I just set up the right Acropora rock, so that's not I'm not worried about that toppling over. But guys, over time, Check your rock structures to see how stable they are, especially if you have a bare bottom tank because the only thing that's going to stop it is the glass. And unfortunately, if that whole rock structure fell, that's about 35, 40 pounds of rock. Not only would it have destroyed all the colonies, but it would have cracked the glass. I guarantee it would have cracked the glass. And uh, yeah, that's a, that's a crappy lesson to learn. That would have ruined uh, everything for this tank anyways. Um, so just a heads up, guys. If you are getting a snowflake eel, especially, especially epoxy all your rock, um, and then check it. Like I said, this tank has been up for officially one year, a couple days ago. I was gonna do a separate video on that, so I might as well just throw that in this one. So the tank's been up for a year. Um, definitely uh, you know, keep an eye on those rock structures and make sure that they're stable because it, it, it only takes uh, you know, an eel, officially, an eel to destroy everything if it's not stable. All right, guys, so I appreciate you watching this video. Sorry I got distracted with the snail uh, doing his bubble thing there. Uh, it's interesting. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.